Hey everybody! I decided to go ahead and um, do the 16 faves tarot tag where you pick your favorite court cards for the four different suits. And um, so I think I've got it down. I have a few more decisions to make and I can see I need to get better lighting. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I'm not going to be able to do this tag the way it's meant to be done with the court cards. So I'm still going to talk about the court cards and um, I think this might help a couple of people who are curious about whether or not they want to venture into... Uh, a more serious hermetic deck or like the Thoth deck which is by now pretty well my favorite. I do still like to go to these um, more traditional type decks that are based on the Rider Waite or Rider Waite Smith whichever way Rider Waite Smith uh, decks where you have you know your traditional uh, king, queen, knight, and page, right? But the reason why I just can't uh, stick with that is because I do use the Thoth deck quite a bit and I do also like to um, use the tarot to help me study a little bit deeper on uh, hermetic philosophy and correspondences and things like that. So if I'm going to do um, more of a kind of like an everyday spread, not that I do spreads every day, but um, something not too too serious, I'm gonna probably you know play with one of these style decks that have the traditional king, queen, knight, and page for your four court cards, right? But when you look at, okay, before um, we look at the thought, we can look at this one, which a lot of people really like this Hermetic Tarot deck. Oh, that glare of the light's pretty bad, sorry about that. I'll just pick up a card and show you what I'm talking about. But you can see here we have a king, a queen, a princess, and a knight. Well, in this deck, the princess effectively replaces the page. Okay? Which, um, although this is a great deck for really studying um, your astrological correspondences and um, a little bit deeper meaning behind the deck uh, cards. I'm not getting this out right. This is a good deck for study. Let me just say that. This is a good study deck. This is a really great study deck. This is not a deck I would use for any kind of like general readings or anything like that. This would strictly for me be a study deck. Now, when it comes to the Thoth deck, you'll see I've got five cards out here, right? And the, the reason is because when you look at the court cards in the Thoth deck, and especially when it gets to the princess, when you consider the princess, you also want to consider the ace of that suit. So even though this is not considered a court card, it definitely relates to how all the other cards tie together for the element of that suit. So there are so many um, different layers and things that you can learn and study. And um, I feel like the Thoth deck is going to give you very, very deep readings, as deep as you want to go. Um, I feel like it is fairly easy to pick up. However, um, it's one of these things that 
yeah, you could probably, if you study, get it down pretty well within a couple of months for general readings to get started, but it's a lifelong kind of study if you really want to get deep with it. Um, I have had several people ask me about working with this deck or switching over to this deck, and so I think what I do, I might do is a bit of a, my take on the Thoth deck since I've been working with it over the last, well, I'm not sure how long I've been working with it now, but um, if you're interested in that, and I could show you a little bit more about the books I've been referencing and whatnot, let me know, and um, I'll work on something that's a little better put together than this is going to be. <laughs> but, so you can see why um, I couldn't really fit this into that 16 card tag, because it's just, if I had a bunch of cool decks that I loved with the traditional Rider Waite Smith, I could have done that, or I could have pulled out a bunch of decks that I have, but I don't really work with that much or love, but I feel like that would be kind of false, right? Because I don't really utilize them that much. I really utilize this deck and this deck the most out of all of my decks for tarot at the moment. So there you have it. Okay, if you've joined me, I thank you, and I hope everybody's having a really good day, week, weekend, vacation, whatever you're doing right now, and uh, I will see you soon. Many blessings. Bye.